Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's vlog, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, eating on the bike, and I've got two reasons why I think you should eat on every ride. Okay guys, like I mentioned, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit today about eating on the bike and why I feel it's important to, to eat on the bike every ride and why I do eat on the bike every ride. Um, basically, the first, uh, the, the main reason why I like to eat on every ride is I like to keep myself, you know, basically, you know, carved up. You know, you always hear that term, carved up. Well, I, I like to be carved up for the ride. I don't want to have any lack of energy on the ride and another reason why i eat on every ride okay rather i'm going out for an hour you know relatively easy pace ride um, i don't do a lot of recovery rides per se um, like true recovery rides where you're just going out and spinning very very easy for an hour 45 minutes i mean i basically will take the day off i take the day off and completely rest I don't do a lot of recovery rides. So if I'm riding my bike, I'm pretty much going to be on the bike for an hour and a half minimum, probably closer to two hours. If I'm riding the bike, I'm riding for like an hour and a half. That's that's just how I am. So, and I think it's important to eat on every ride. And again, I don't go just, you know, woofing down food the whole ride. I just, I call it basically just grazing. You know, I will basically make a, you know, a regular, you know, power bar. I'll make that last my entire hour and a half ride. I'll take a bite. I'll take a single bite of the power bar or whatever I'm eating. Um, I'll take a bite like every, you know, 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes, just, just, just take a bite. Just keep a steady flow of nutrients, you know, coming in. And that's, again, I, and the reason why I do this is because in my long road races that I do, um, I do a lot of longer road races, you have to, I mean, in, in my opinion, you have to eat during those road races um, to, to perform at your best. At least I know I do. And I want my body to be used to eating on the ride. You know, I don't want to train for five months, never eat on the, on the bike, and then go do a race and then eat on the bike. You know, your body's not used to it at that point. So I want my body to be used to be accustomed to eating on every ride so that it, it's just like second nature for me, okay? I eat on every ride because I'm going to be eating during my races, and I just think it's important to do in training what you're going to do in racing. I, I said that before on the channel. I've made videos before on the channel about, you know, doing what you're going to do in racing. Do it in training. That includes everything. Drinking on the bike, eating on the bike, you know, how you're going to pedal, your cadence, everything. You need to do in training what you're going to do in racing. And for me, eating is the same exact thing. So I eat what I'm going to eat in the races. I eat that on the bike in training. That's just how I operate. And uh, so I like to do it from a performance standpoint. I think it, it gives me, for me, it gives me the energy I need to get through difficult intervals and difficult rides. That's what I that's what I have success with. That's what I would recommend at least experimenting with. Okay, some guys don't like to eat on the bike very much, and, and that's fine. And if it works for you, awesome. Okay, I'm just telling you guys what works for me and trying to give you guys some tips on what works for me here. And for me, eating on the bike is important. I don't eat a lot on the bike, but I, I just kind of keep a steady flow of some stuff coming in. I'm usually doing more solid foods. I don't do a ton of the gels. I will do one every now and then, but I don't do a lot of the gels or stuff like that. I, I, I'd like to eat solid foods, whether it be a power bar or a lar bar, some kind of a bar usually, or the uh, cliff shot blocks. I like those. Just something where you can keep little dabs of food coming in every 15, 20 minutes. Um, I think it's important from a performance standpoint on the bike. And, I, and another reason why I do it and um, you know, is for... Uh, for me now, it's not about weight loss because I mean I'm I'm right where I want to be in terms of weight. I'm 125 pounds. I'm I'm where I want to be weight. But for weight stability, I think it's important to eat on the bike if you want if you want to lose weight or if you want to stay the same weight that you're at. And you might say, well, that goes against everything I've ever heard. You know, you don't want to you you, know, you you don't want to eat on the bike if you want to lose weight. But the way I look at it is. And, I've, and I'm sure you guys have been there. When I go out, I'll go out on a long, you know, three-hour, two-hour, three-hour ride. If I don't eat on that ride, 
I'm like ravaged hungry when I get off the bike and then I'll go pig out on something. You know, you get super hungry, your blood sugar crashes. That's when you're going to pig out on something you should be pigging out on. Okay, so I think it's important to eat on the bike so that you can help control your eating afterwards when you get off the bike. Okay, if I eat a little bit, you know, throughout the ride, when I get off the ride, even if I went out for three, four, five hours, if I eat, you know, a little bit throughout the ride, I'm not, you know, just this ravaged, you know, caged animal on the hop when I got the bike and I have to go pound down some huge meal. So I think it's important to, to eat on the bike. So this way here, you can control your hunger after the ride so you're not picking out on something you shouldn't be picking out on. So I think from even from a weight loss standpoint, it can be an effective approach because you never, I don't like to let myself get super hungry. That's, and that's again, a whole other topic. Um, but just eating, when, when, it, when it comes to my eating in general, I don't like to let myself get hungry at, ever. I always keep something coming in. I'm trying to keep that, that metabolism fire stoked. Keep that metabolism fire stoked all day long. Keep stuff coming in. It keeps you from overeating. And the same thing for me applies in the bike. When I'm eating, I always got stuff on me. I've always got a couple of bars or, you know, I've always got something to eat on the ride. And I eat on every ride because, A, I want my body to be used to eating on the bike so that when I'm eating my, in my races, it doesn't affect me at all. I know it works for me. I know this is going to work. I do it every day. Boom, I'm good to go on my races. And, B, it helps me control my hunger for when I get off the bike, I'm not picking out on pizza and all this other stuff. So, uh, just a couple of thoughts. Just a couple of uh, thoughts I have on eating. A couple of reasons why I think it's important to eat on the bike. Um, as always, guys, I appreciate the support here in the channel. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll try to keep more of this type of video coming along to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you guys right back here in the next one.